Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, something a bit special for you today. Something from our childhood, maybe from yours, but it's from ours, so it's important. And that is the Fighting Fantasy Books. We have a game, The Warlock of Firetop Mountain, based on the book of the same name by the eponymous Steve Jackson and the marvellous Ian Livingston. Indeed. Now, those guys have had a bit of a foray into computer games in the past. Yes, Death Trap Dungeon was shite. Yes, it was awful. <laughs> but I do also remember a kind of a, a game that you could get on the PS3 and the PSP um, of Warlock of Firetop Mountain. It was basically the books... Um, you would read through, choose your options, roll the dice, that kind of stuff. It was kind of a nice way to get back into the books again. Now, Lee and myself, we both had so many of these books as kids. And I remember when I got to maybe my late teens, early 20s, going to car boot sales and trying to pick out the rest of them. I was selling them at that point because I wanted a guitar. <laughs> but, I mean, you could, you could go to a car boot and find this, like... I did once find, like, ten. And they were like, oh, they're like 10p each. I'm like... <gasps> <laughs> my God! And I he didn't could, sell mine for ten p. Fuck that noise. No, but it, obviously <laughs> I picked up a few that I'd never had before, and some of them had good covers and you know, correct and basically protective covers over them. But there was hun not hundreds, but there was definitely like a good seventy odd plus. Yeah, and they covered a ton of different stuff. I mean, you had like yeah. samurai ones, horror ones, thief ones, superhero ones. Yeah, um, sort of Mad Max esque ones. Freeway Fighter. Yes. Yeah, that was a good one. I think that was number twelve. <laughs> um, I remember the numbers. <laughs> yeah, I had Spectral Stalkers, which is like a crazy weird island one. Island of the Undead. Creature of Havoc. Yeah, Creature of Havoc, yeah. Uh, Midnight Rogue. Anyway, let's get to actually playing this game. Army <laughs> of the Dead, I think it was. Now that mushy with a banner on the front. Um, Armies of Death. Armies of Death, yes. I was yeah. close. It had like a samurai skeleton dude with a big banner on his yeah. back, like riding some flame. Th it was amazing. It was amazing. And we will see some of the artwork from those books in this game. Will we indeed? We will. Okay, let's uh, let's start a new game. Delete your existing fine. adventure. Cool. I have played this before. And this is the kind of artwork you would see in the books. Yes. This it, quality this of artwork. This is from the books, in fact. Yes. But it, this is the stuff that would actually bring things to life while you're going through those options. And, mm. and if you're not familiar with fighting fantasy, should we just give a massively quick rundown? Yes, massively quick. Okay. You it's read a, book a bit. That has options in. You have an option, and you'd have to like tally up and roll your dice if you had a fight with something. Um, I don't know how this works, but we always that... lie though. You you just said I'd won. <gasps> They've coloured it in, Lee. <laughs> if you click on it. Oh, that's amazing. Welcome back, player. Let me begin a new journey. Select your hero. Ooh, what do we want, dude? What do we want? I was Alexander the Black Sand when I played. <clears throat> but I died. Okay. Oh, a little advicey things. That's cool. Yeah, it's done very much in the start of like a tabletop thing. Okay, I think we'll go for all. For all? He seems kind of balanced. Mm. Soldier for hire. I've got attacks up there. Really. Single strike directly in front, single strike to the right. Ooh. A dodgeball. Oh, very cool. Okay. You've chosen Deccan Strom. If you like, you may select a different hero. If you're happy with your choice, then you may travel to Five Dot Mountain and start your adventure. Let's do it. This was not in the book. This was not in the book. I'm a purist. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, it's my, my dulcet tones you're after. No, I just can't be bothered. Okay. At last, your two-day hike is over. When goblin bandits ambushed your convoy on the road to Zengus, you were outnumbered and had to fight your way to safety. To, to the safety of Anvil, in fact. One of the goblins, a so-called jelly called Rockgut, stole from a, you a valuable locket that was given to you by Cain Leshma <laughs> <laughs> many years ago by a priest of the Arantis. You were planning to sell it for a princely sum and retire from the dangerous life of an armed caravan escort. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll do this page. Okay. Yeah. Rumours in Anvil have led you to believe that the goblins that attacked your convoy were under the command of none other than Zagor. What do you reckon? That's Zagor. Um, yeah, debatable. Zagor. The mysterious warlock who rules Firetop Mountain. You are determined to find the jailer, reclaim your prize, and buy a horse to travel back to Sardarth. <laughs> Sardarth! <laughs> and Devon. <laughs> if there is a sizable fortune left after this, so, so much, much the better. 
Ah! You have also heard tales from the locals that the warlock is a man to be feared as much as he is wealthy. Uh-huh. You are not easily intimidated, but if a jinn were to appear and grant you a hundred gold pieces and a fuck stallion <laughs> in return for your soul, you might just take the deal. That's a horrible word, a femfrian. Fem, fem, fr, frian. Fem, frian, stallion. Fem, frian, you just might take the deal. You cautiously approach a cave entrance, which you know <clears throat> is used frequently by goblins. You check that your crossbow is secured on your back and grip the hilt of your sword. You are ready to face any foe. Your adventure starts here. Ooh, nasty. That's how it looked. In the book. And that's how it looks now. Peer Peer into the gloom. gloom. That's our one choice. Ooh. You see dark, slimy walls with pools of water on the stone floor in front of you. The air is cold and dank. Hearing faint scurrying to the east, you light your lantern. Go on. This place stinks of goblins and orcs. I'm looking forward to getting my hands on my locket so I can get out of here. How fitting is that to you? I was going for New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> Step wary into the blackness. You stand in a dark, slimy cave entrance. This is the bit we just read, I presume. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Approach the forkhead. So they kind of visualised your directional stuff. Yeah, oh, nice! So we heard scurrying t- coming from the east. So we can go to the east, or we can go turn to the west. It looks like there's a mush there. Yes, it does. So what do we want to do? What should we do, Lee? East! Sound of scurrying continues ahead of you, as well as the sound of heavy footsteps. I could, I, but I'm sure I can take on whatever's coming. A few yards ahead, at the limit of the light cast by your lantern, you catch sight of a cleft in the tunnel tunnel wall. Fuck it! (laughs) No, not quite, it says. (laughs) I could fit into that cleft, but there's no way I'm hiding this early on in my quest. Oh, Jesus. Do you reckon people back then, like, in age old, actually had quests? I don't know, I wasn't alive. Coming towards you along the passageway are two ugly, green-skinned creatures. You have disturbed an orc patrol. Well done, Lee. Interestingly enough, when I did that, I was allowed to hide. I was a different character. It's because I am Strom. I was a girl. Strom! So I got her in the cleft. Like, well, <laughs> she. I feel pretty confident about taking down these two. As they unsheath their weapons... They arm yourself, you arm yourself and prepare to fight. Right, fight the arts. So, right, now you need to know how this works. Fight! Is it turn based? It's turn based. Good, and we can take our time. And you can move or attack, but the movements happen before the attacks. So you can attack a square with nothing in, hoping the orc will move there. Okay, so I would, I suppose I have to move to that. So do you want to move, do you want to slash, or do you want to attack? Um, I'm going to... Actually, no. I'm going to move there. Ah. Um. Oh, right now. This is interesting. You could attack him there, but he may move. He will probably attack you there, or you can move, but he may attack to the sides of you. Well, I can do a right slash, which does those two. Yes. Right, here's the dice. And we roll the dice. Mm. Hey, nice. nice. They're going to move. They are so going to move. Damn it. Yeah. But you, they can't move diagonally, though. <coughs> Excuse me, it's all this uh, talking in an accent. Um, well, you could attack in front of you and hope he moves into it. Oh. Ah, he thought you were going to move there. I see. Okay, let's try again. Yes. Gotcha. He down. He down. He. he no, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> right now, he could go that way, or possibly that way, or he may attack that way or that way. I'm just going to attack. I do news. No, he went that way. Oh dear. Oh, here we go. Oh, Damn it. Your skill is added, so it's that plus your skill. Ah, uh, okay, right. 
He did hit you there, though. Ah, damn it. I forgot you could move. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Ha ha! New, no, new. No. <laughs> God damn you. He's going to come back this way. Just hit that, I reckon. <laughs> He's we... got the same thing. Hold on. We no. got the same thing. Bastard. Right. <laughs> there you go. Victory! Victory. <clears throat> you are triumphant. You have defeated the orcs. A quick search of the orcs' bodies turns up a handful of gold pieces, a crude bone charm, and a half eaten rat on a stick. Five gold pieces. <laughs> uh, what do you reckon? Take the bone charm. Take it. Why would you do it? You pocket the bone charm, trying not to retch as you get close to the orc's stinking corpse. Perhaps it will be useful later. Cautiously, you make your way further down the dank tunnel. Well, we were going east. Uh... Bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -dum. <laughs> the passageway soon comes to an end of the solid-looking wooden door. Trying to open it, the door refuses to budge. You listen at the door, but hear nothing. I think I could easily break this door down. Kick down, charge the door. I remember charging these games when you read the books. You end up just ruining your shoulder. Okay. Um, so kicking down is probably a bit, a bit of an easier option. You give the door a mighty kick and it swings open east. There we go. Because if you charge it, you end up falling down and breaking your fucking shoulder. There you go. You'd be nursing a sore rump. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to enter when you notice that the room is actually a pit. Had you charged the door, you'd be nursing a sore rump. Examining the pit, you notice that the sides are full of handholds that so should not be difficult to climb back out. In the pit. In the pit. Looking around, you see two cave entrances leading off from the pit opposite you. Mouldering bones into the floor, small piles of them stuck together in pools of fetid slime. Clats around the vile pit. Enter the cave to the left, cave to the right. Always go left in a maze. You enter a small cave with slime dripping from its rock walls. A sickly sweet smell of swords or senses. Uh -oh. And you enter the smell of rotting meat, the remains of rats, and even a half-eaten goblin lay in one corner. Dun dun! Da. Another is a large joint of meat. It looks like whatever is using this place as a larder is saving us this choice haunch of giant ard wolf for later. <clears throat> Thankfully, this does not look like the jailer that stole my locket. I wouldn't want to be picking through these remains. Well, let's take it. Yeah, take everything. Rule of thumb. Although you don't fancy eating it yourself, it might prove to be of use to you somehow elsewhere. You pick it up and put it in your pack. You leave the cave and return to the central pit. Investigate the other cave. Absolutely. That will probably go well. <laughs> the first thing that hits you as you approach the cave is a stench, an unpleasant melange of mushrooms and rotting meat. Whatever was nearby, you sense it is not straight far from its home. This smell is sickening in here. I'm not sure how much I can take. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. What are we doing? <laughs> Survey the murky cave. Let's do it. Let's get involved. Oh, dear. As you peer deeper into the gloomy cave, you suddenly see a pair of evil-looking eyes appear from the darkness. A slime beast. A slime beast lurks within and has spotted you. That was my Brian Blessed voice. No, She's like that. that was, uh, Two hideous slime zombies, previous adventures reanimated by the slime. <gasps> That's you. What? You're a slime zombie. It's the weekend, I don't have to shower. <laughs> <laughs> They've also emerged from the goo. They shamble towards you with one sole purpose. The slime beast, meanwhile, launches itself at you with powerful hind legs. Fight the monsters! Three of them. The slime beast has been put in the corner for being Fight. naughty. <laughs> Oh no, he's turned. Um, right slash. Clashing! Easy. Yeah. Not dead yet though. What's the four thing? What's I that? That's cooldown. Oh, right, okay. So we've got to move then. Ow. Ooh. Not good. Not good at all. Damn it. Ow. <laughs> this is going well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're no, intact there, I reckon. One of them's going to come in there, ain't he? 
No. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um. Right, let's this is see. going badly. It is going badly. I can't use the dodge bolt. Attack. You son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. I, I think moving might be the right move there. What's my kind of? Uh, my stamina's nine out of nineteen, so I'm yes. kind of fucked. It's just. It's just Yes, okay, yeah, done. Yeah. yeah, he's got two more left on him. I think that one has one and that one has three. Um, he's moving, Amy. Yup! Ow! Um, 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 right, let me go. Ooh, missed. Good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully you'll follow him in, maybe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Damn. Uh -oh. Son of a bitch! <laughs> this is going badly. This is going so badly. Alright, let's do... I'm reckoning he's going to move. Okay. Well, he did. <laughs> Sound like a Wookiee with his testicles no, trapped um, somewhere. Son of a git. Get rid of one of them at least. Come on, please, 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 please. Please, please. Yes, oh, shit. Damn it. Um. Um, indeed. <laughs> this is precarious. We have three stamina left. Yes. Um, um. Oh, what are you doing? No, if I go there, it's probably safer. Oh, no. shit. <laughs> shit, shit. No! No! <laughs> Shit, that's me done. That's you done. <laughs> <sighs> you had to look in the other cave, didn't you? Of course. <laughs> I had a piece of meat. Good, did you? See, normally when you play these games, you just go back a bit. Yeah, but it is. <laughs> Your adventure ends here. This is shit. <laughs> this is very shit. See, that adventure sheet is probably above our heads. I don't know where we're going to put us in the frame. Maybe put us in the middle, so it'd be like above, no, above like that, maybe. Oh, in that case, let's let's have a look at your charisma. Oh, fucking zero! <laughs> and it was when you get out of the frame, I I regain that. <laughs> what? When you're not here, my charisma goes through the fucking roof. I know because like they're not seeing me, and they're like, "Oh, he's all right, actually." And then I come in and I'm like, "Oh, he's a toad." <laughs> <laughs> but guys, this is Warlock of Fighter Man. I don't think you want to watch us uh, reread the same parts of this no. story again. <laughs> but I really like this. Like, he's could... terrible at it, but he likes it. No, but I I love the the core cool material of the books. And to have something like this where they've actually spent time building the world mm. um, and having some kind of animation around the actual the, the place in which you're playing and the actual combat system is very cool. It's like a miniature war yeah, hammer type thing. Yeah, it's very tactical. And I was able to actually retrieve the thing you're supposed to retrieve because I think it's different for each character. Yeah. Uh, but I decided I wanted to take on the warlock and she kicked my ass. But, um, I mean, the, the books themselves, you could probably read one in a couple of hours on, like, a Sunday afternoon. Yeah, I tell you it would be nice if they did, like, apps for them. They mm. actually incorporate all the dice mechanics and keeping track of your stats. That would be great. It's a bit like the mini version that you should get on the PS3 and the, mm. and the PSP. But massive thumbs up to you guys for, for making this. I really like it. Really like it. So I probably will be getting hold of this at some point and uh, playing through in some spare time if I have any. Yeah. But, no, it's good. Really like the aesthetic. Really like that it's kind of... Not just drawing from the book, it's drawing from sort of tabletop games and sort of actually doing it. It reminds me of, um, there was a quest in Fable 3 where you're put into a tabletop game that these mushtis are playing. 
to a venture through and you've got like cardboard stand-ups you're talking to and stuff that's brilliant i mean this this stuff is just my my childhood so to see something done this well it's beautiful to see i want to see them start to do all of them i mean guys if you haven't started on the second book and the third book and the fourth book and the fifth book you get my point well they may do because it was based on the game book engine so from the sound of that it just sounds like they could quite easily port stuff in do some more i'd love to see how they get through on some of the appointment with fear a freeway fighter yeah, some different island of the undead and stuff, yeah cool. it'd be excellent i'm excited by this i really am it's going to be if they can pull it off i mean warlock because it's the first book it's the most well known mm. um people will be very familiar with it so maybe build on that guys just do the others see what happens i'm we love it i'd love to see some more i really would and no but that adventure sheet you can see on the screen here that's exactly how you used to I have to photocopy. Book, yeah. I just wrote in the book with a pencil. No, 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 because it, it <laughs> ruined the book, man. Yeah. yeah. You photocopy it once, then you can make those copies and just keep using it as you go along. Well, yeah, but when I ruined it, I just basically went, yeah, I won that fight. <laughs> <laughs> but there's al- always things like uh, you get to some puzzles, it's like go to the number, which is half that where you found this object or something. Yeah, just to make sure you weren't skipping ahead or something. So if sure. you had an object called like a, I don't know, um, Otherwise, go to page six and be eaten by a slug. Yeah. (laughs) Devoured by a pencil. Um, But yeah, it's fantastic. Guys, thank you for bringing this to our attention um, and making a beautiful game. Obviously, this has been quite a short Let's Play and all things considered. Um, But we do have more videos uh, coming out three times a week on the channel on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays. And if you do like what you see here, I want to see something a bit longer maybe where I don't die so quickly. If you're looking for something long, check out my Borderlands Let's Play where I'm going to be playing the entire game. Cha-ching! Plug! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you haven't already, let's have a little bit of a subscription down below, you know what I mean? We do like a bit of that. And uh, like the video. down below. <laughs> <That's> disgustingly. <laughs> but uh, please comment and like the video. Let us know what you think of the game yourselves, because... I fucking love it. Yeah, share with us some of your memories about fighting fantasy books back in the day and what were your favourites? Absolutely, fucking neatly. That's a brilliant, brilliant question, Lee. I thank you. Yes. So, guys, yeah. till next time, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. Take it easy, guys. Bye. He threatened to set himself on fire and his favourite chewing gum becomes, becomes popular again. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to send big boys after you for that one. <laughs> He's like, fuck your burn. Right, we need <laughs> another cop. Um, the characters will just one. stay with the same. Yeah, we can try a different character. I don't mind. I don't mind beating you as a man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're friends. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That's the same. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs>